had a lot of questions from followers lately and even some videos sent in asking my advice on how they could improve their trigger control. As an idea, this is a sort of video of how I focus on a consistent trigger control, manipulating that trigger straight to the rear so that I put a minimal effect against a rifle trajectory. Main points of trigger control. Manipulate the trigger straight to the rear. Maintain connection with the trigger until the firearm has ceased to recoil. Ninety degree trigger finger to minimise left to right movement. Okay, so let's have a look at ninety degree trigger finger. Something to note with the ninety degree trigger finger: the fingernail finishes and starts both at ninety degrees meaning that the finger pad is directing the trigger straight to the rear with very minimal, if any, left to right movement. 90 degree trigger finger may not feel natural, though after repetition it does become very comfortable. Now connecting the trigger to the finger. The part of the finger that I aim to use is actually a handy little tip to find out exactly where that should be. The most sensitive part of our finger is exactly where I'm aiming for my trigger. So you can test this yourself. Grab a pen, a needle, anything along those lines and try and find the most sensitive part of that, of the pad of your finger. So for me, as you can see, the line almost through the center of my finger pad is exactly where I'd like to connect to that trigger. Apart from manipulating the trigger, the main part of the firing hand is to allow, is to aid with the rifle to shoulder connection. By aiding the rifle to recall in a straight line, directly into the shooter shoulder. You can see that apart from the connection to the trigger, the firing finger is not connected to the rifle. It's a common term to called drag in wood, when you have too much connection to your stock and your trigger finger. Allowing the trigger finger to float next to the rifle aids with a 90 degree trigger finger. 